What is up everybody and welcome back to another video. It's Transworld 2024. We're here. We're here at Distortions right now. We've, they've got some amazing stuff. We're going to be doing a whole Transworld walkthrough right now. But of course we got to start at one of the best booths. So they brought some amazing stuff this year. They really truly expanded their booth. Right here we've got the awesome giant skull. Alright, look at that. That is insane. I don't even know if the mic's going to be able to pick up the audio. I hope so. I don't know, but he is so cool. That thing is massive. All right, let's check out right here. We got the Wicked Wolf. You know, these are some old products. This isn't anything new yet. Oh, it's Wicked Wolf going? Oh, there he goes. Look at that. Yeah, I'll put it up to the microphone or the speaker. Is it going to work? Listen to that. This thing is awesome. I love this guy so much. He is definitely, honestly, probably my favorite wolf that they make. He is really cool. And right here we got Grumpy Gargoyle and Bobo. Look at Bobo. He's so adorable. Are you Bobo? He agrees. He agrees. Such awesome animatronics right here. Oh, and make sure to watch to the end because we're going to be walking through the dark zone. In there, it's crazy this year. It definitely expanded a ton. All right, let's see. Right here we've got some aliens. We got Jet Alien right there. Look at this guy. He's been a fan favorite of the year. So many people have been loving him. And look at the little gremlin uh, rope. I forget what they're called. But the little rope piece, pieces right here. Those are awesome. And I mean, like, we've got a nice little seating area. You know, we could have a seat, watch some distortions videos, some making monsters. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, let's come over here. Once again, some classics. We've got uh, ICU, we got Wretched VCP, the better version of Wretched in my opinion. They've got a couple different versions of her, but personally, I think she's the best. Um, we got the Distortions catalog right here. Let's just take a little peek inside. Look at that, that's awesome. They have inside the factory photos. That is really cool. All right, we got a classic right here. One of my favorites, Creep Show. Let's look at this guy. Get ready. It scared her right behind the camera. Look at that. Ryan's haunts actually got him a couple years ago when he came out. He is amazing. Such a cool animatronic. All right. Right here we got a new one from last year. We got Scare Wolf. They came out with a legend version of him this year as well. Look at him go crazy. And then... Bam! Don't avoid the spray. You gotta get sprayed by that. Come on. All right. Hey, we got Halloween Haunter here. What's hey, going are you on? Live? Uh, no, we're not live, but this is uh, uncut video. Oh, hi. You want to say anything? Um, this is our full walkthrough. We're, we're going to East Coast Haunter Convention. Yes. If you guys are going to East Coast, let me know down in the comments below. But we got Alien Parasite right here. What do you think of Alien Parasite? He's dope. He's dope. He's, he's cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. True. They added a pipe this year, I guess, for the fog. Fill up the fog. And look at that. Such a cool prop. He's one of my all-time favorite Distortions props, honestly. I really love that thing. All right. Now, here we have Distortions Technical Advancements. They are doing AI this year. It's crazy. So basically, the way this works is there's a camera up there, so it senses people around the area. It's got a microphone, and it works with OpenAI, where you could basically talk to it and have a conversation with this thing. You could ask it questions. Um, it'll answer you. It's so impressive. And this is the first thing we've really seen in the industry so far, which is mind-blowing. I love this thing. All right, we got the awesome distortions booth right there. They got, look at that awesome table right there. We got Janine. Hi, Janine. I want to say anything for the video? Hi, how's it going? Doing good. Great year, great year, right? Of course. Of course, it always is. <laughs> exactly. You guys killed it this year. Amazing stuff. Killed it in the best way. <laughs> Have a good one. Good seeing you. All right. Hi, we're live. Or not live, but like live? uncut video. Hello. This is my walkthrough. Showing off the distortion stuff first right now. The best place to be here. Exactly. That's why we're starting off here. It's the best. All right. Now, a lot of people are excited for these. We've got the Raptors over here. Look at these guys. They are insane. They are so cool. Look at this guy. So we've got just the basic one right up here, you know, just kind of looks around, 
moves around, talks, well not talks, growls. He is awesome. Wiggles that tail back there. All right. Here we've got the attack raptor. Here we go. Look at this guy. With, of course, the optional rock. He's so cool. What an amazing animatronic. All right. Let's come along over here. We're gonna knock both of these off at one time. We got Mutant and we got Frank right here. Frankenstein's experiment. Mutant is a classic. Oh, we got Frank over here. Look at that. He's crazy. That thing is insane. All right, and then of course we got a couple statics lined up over here. They are amazing with their statics. We got Alien Spider right down there, brand new. We got Scarecrow Wrath right up there. They are always, they always kill the statics. They're so, so amazing. And honestly, this is from what I've heard people talking about, one of their most popular stuff. I've heard a lot of talk about this one. We've got Banshee, look at this. So she rises up. And kind of similar to Grim Death from last year, opens up her mouth and spits on you. Look at those teeth! That is so cool. Alright, let's come along here. We've got Beastcraft right back here. They've got some amazing animatronics. Now, we're not going to go too much in, de in depth with all the other booths. Um, these are honestly some of the, just the most standout boots, in my opinion, that I want to really dive into. But, I mean, they've got some amazing stuff going on over here. We've got a Scarecrow Blaster right here. Look at him up there. Look at that. we got the classic coughing mummy right here. Let's see if he'll start going. The bat from last year. Everybody loved him. Oh, there goes the coughing mummy. Let's see if we get... Is he going to cough? Oh, the speaker's down there, so you probably can't hear it. But he's coughing, I swear. We got this awesome guy right down here. Asylum Thrasher. He is one of my favorites from them. He is so cool. Look at that. And right back here, a ton of stuff. Look at all of this. They are insane. Once again, just like Distortions, they expanded their booth this year. They are double-sided now. So they're offering a lot more than normal, which is awesome. I love to see it. I love to see companies just growing their booths and just evolving over the years. Like, Beastcraft has really come a long way from where they started, and they've got some amazing and honestly some of the best stuff in the industry, in my opinion. All right, let's come back here. We got Fright Night Studios setting up. Look at all that stuff. We could take a quick glance at what they're doing along over there. They still are getting ready, but now we got some gory stuff right here, some super realistic props. Look at all these. Look at those back up over there. Those are amazing. Look at that. Now come over here, come over here. I gotta show you this one. This one is insane and probably my favorite from the collection. We've got this girl right here who's like turned this guy into a cello. Tell me that is not freaky. This is awesome. That is so cool. One of my favorite things that I honestly have probably seen at Transworld this year. It's so cool. Now over here, we're not gonna take too much, you know, too in depth of a look, but they, we've got all these masks from, of course, the one and only Immortal Masks. They are amazing. They've got some amazing stuff. I mean, but they just have so much to look at. So hopefully you're able to, you know, pause the video. We'll take a quick glance around, look at what they've got, look along the wall all along there. One of my favorites, we're gonna come in here, is Parasite. Look at this guy right here. This whole, I love this, right here. I love this thing so much, and I, honestly, I would love to get him. He's one of my favorites. But they've just got some amazing stuff. Go along the line, we've got the masks from uh, 
Blood and Honey from the Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey. Right up over there. If you guys have ever seen that, you know, the Winnie the Pooh horror movie. All right, we're going to come around to Ghost Ride right over here. Honestly, Ghost Ride is like known as one of the most realistic looking companies. So let's come along here. Look at this. I mean, it doesn't get creepier than that. Look at that guy on the pail. Or impaled. That is awesome. That is so cool. We've got squeeze through here. We got this awesome butcher guy. Pretty tall. We got some nuns, just bodies laying down. Anything you could think of, they've got it. I mean, like what is this? This is awesome. Look at this, right over here. Glop. Such a cool name, such a creepy prop. Look at his eye. His one eye. All right, we've, and of course we just got, you know, the basic body bag right here. Of course, you gotta have that basic stuff, but along with the super realistic, like look at this. This caretaker, that is so cool. All right, we've got tons of gory stuff right here. We've got a bunch of animal guts and human guts and pig heads and people hanging, chickens, it, it, it's crazy. All right, let's come this way. Got some pumpkin guys. I don't know what happened to her. She's just like sleeping right there. But that is awesome. Amazing, amazing stuff as always from them. All right. We got these cute little silicone alien babies right down there. All right. We got some more ghost ride lined up over here. Look at all that. We got a Demogorgon type of character right there. All right. We're going to try to speed through this a little more. You know, trying to save that storage. Don't want to... I don't have too much left and we're trying not to spend it. We got Brick Thunder right there. What's up, Brick? How's it going? Not live, not but live. Uh, full tour video. Nice. Awesome. Hey, guys. Make sure to check out his uh, Transworld tour. He'll go more in-depth with all the stuff. We're just doing some of the highlight stuff around. Um, but, yeah. Where are you going first? We started at Distortions. Nice. We're just kind of going up and down the aisles, seeing what we could see. Cool. But yeah, Have amazing fun. stuff this year, right? Definitely. What's your favorite? Well, Original Sin, which is right here, they're amazing. Yeah. yeah I, probably we were just looking at their prop. stuff. We were looking at the cello guy The cello over there. one, that's amazing. Oh, yeah. um, other than that, Distortions does great. Oh yeah, definitely Scare Distortions. Factor does great. That's where yeah. we started. I mean, yeah. got, always got to start at they're Distortions. Awesome. They've got some amazing stuff. For sure. All right, well, we'll see you around, yeah. Brick. See you guys. All right. Now, next up we have VFX, another one of my favorite companies. Look at this right here. Look at him. <laughs> Look at that. We've got their new robot puppet over here. Super creepy. Could like move the face around. Now, I've got chokles from them. And he's awesome. He gets so many good scares. We got Look at that robot guy up there. We got they're like built bungee props. Hey, hang, hey. hang out. How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? Doing going? good. Filming our store tour. Or not store tour. I keep saying store tour. I was just this right here. <laughs> yeah, VFX. They've got some amazing stuff this year. <laughs> all right. Look at all of that. We've got their creature crates right along over here. Let's look at that. So, you know, we got the basic mirror right there. And then all of a sudden, it's <laughs> so cool. Honestly, they've really got some of the best stuff here. I really like it. Of course, we got a singing goat, because why not? <laughs> He's so cool. All right. Over here, we've got some vacuum form walls hanging up here. It's kind of like how they hang up carpets. I love how they always set up their booth. It's so, it's just unique. It's cool. Like I said, it's like hanging up carpets. We got the main show sponsor right here. We got Froggy's Fog. I mean, can't miss their booth. They're always fun. Oh, we got some new tiles right down here. Pretty cool. We got the Fog Gun Blasters right here. Look at these guys. Ready for this? Ready for this? That is so cool. That is so cool. I want one of those. We got all of their scents over there. Listen on this wall right here. 
at the scent lab. Look at all of that. Awesome. All right, actually, you know what? Let's go over this way. We're gonna go check out uh, 13th floor. Now, yesterday, we signed our names on the coffin right here, the little tomb. We got Tyler G right down there. We got Brick Thunder over there. We got Ryan's right there. Look at that. And it's screaming now, apparently. That was super fun. But in here, we've got this awesome, awesome mirror maze. So let's check it out. Let's see if we could solve the mirror, mirror maze. All right, let's see. So let's try not to walk into anything. You know, that's a pretty good goal, in my opinion. Okay, so that's a mirror. Don't want to walk into that. Okay, we did it. Pretty easy. <laughs> that wasn't that hard. Awesome. Come on out. All right, we've got Shattered FX right here. I've got one of their masks. We've got the Momo clown right down there, but the clown variant of it. Super cool mask. I love this mask because it's so hard to see the eye holes on it. Like, they're kind of like slit in between the eyes, but when you're wearing it, like, you cannot see them at all. It's super cool. All right. As always, they've got some amazing, amazing stuff. Of course, we've got the creepy Grinch up there. Look at that. Yeah. All right, we got Macabre Intentions right here. Awesome, awesome costumes. Look at all those. All right, let's make our way along here. We've got this awesome booth, which is basically like the pits of hell. Look at this, right around over here. We've got the pits of hell. So we've got creatures crawling up from, oh sorry about that, <laughs> creatures crawling from underneath. A whole bridge right up there. Some really, really cool set. Look at that. I really love that area. All right, we're gonna try this way. We'll come back, actually, yeah, we could show over here first. We got a dog, because why not? But of course, we got Silt Beast Studios. Oops, sorry. We got all their scare actors along the wall over there. Oh, he's coming for you. He's coming for you. He went right by you. All right, let's go this way. We got Hallucination Creations. They have some amazing mechanisms. Look at him up there. Oh, he's pretty spooky. All right, over here, ton, a ton of mechanisms. They've got some amazing stuff. Um, if you're looking to just want to DIY some props, this is the place to go. I mean. Like I said, they've got some incredible, incredible stuff. Got a ton of masks right along here. Look at this. This is so cool. Look at that. That is awesome. The whole line that they've got going on over there. All right. Now, just in case you want to keep your, cleats, your teeth clean, we got some toothbrushes right here. You know, got to say... Hygienic. All right, let's walk around. Let's go over to Fright Props real quick. Now they've got a really cool interactive booth this year. They've got this awesome, awesome pneumatic robot up over there that you can control with these little levers. So let's go ahead and play around with that a little bit. First, you know, we've got their booth set up all along there. All right, take a look at this. Take a look at this guy. So basically, you pull a lever, and it moves that a certain part of the body. So it's moving that arm. I'll pull this to move his hand. You know, it can make him wave. Super, really cool interactive piece. I love this so much. Such a cool thing. Such a cool addition this year. All right, we got fear tiles right here. Look at that. Slide around. 
All right, and then on that back wall, we've got a ton of mechanisms. Look at all of those. We got feet, we got hands, we got anything you could think of. Another company that just dominates in mechanisms. If you just want to create your own stuff, this is one of the places to go. Look at all that. We got a dropping spider down up over there. Look at this spider. Arms reaching through. Some crazy, crazy stuff. Let's hit the button. Let's see what happens. Oh, that happens. There goes the spider. We got some stuff over here. Look at all that. We got some different blasters. We got snakes. I love the swinging chandelier up there. It's so cool. All right. Let's come along over here. I don't know what's going on over here. Let's see. We got some buttons. Oh, I see. So the buttons activate some of the lights in there. So if you change the color down there at the bottom, with this button, you know, change the color on the guy in there. That's pretty cool. Oh. That one's hooked up to a peekaboo controller, a thunder controller, the Pico Storm. It is very loud. Oh, we got Sky. We are filming right here. How you doing? I, I got it. Nice gimbal. Nice gimbal. Yeah, I bought it off this loser. Just gave it. Bought, he sold him my gimbal, old gimbal. We got a new one this year. We got Hamburger Hospital over here. We're filming our video right now, uncut. <laughs> exactly uncut. right there. Is it live? Is it live? Pretty much. It's not live, but oh. uncut. All right, we've got some amazing scares right here. Look up over there. Whoa, did you get that? Ah! Oh. Okay. Such a cool booth. That is awesome. Hi! <laughs> there she goes. Why are you showing the floor? We got people flying up there. What are you showing the floor for? Oh, we got Gorgalore right here. Look at that. That is so cool. Want to say anything? We I got like... Jack the built in Ryan's Haunts right here. Hello, everybody. It's me. It's Ryan's Haunts and Jack. Yoo-hoo. Yoo-hoo. All right. Go check out Jack at Midwest. He's going to be selling a ton of masks and stuff like that. Hopefully. Hopefully. I'm, I'm spoiling. Yeah, don't check out Ryan's. Yeah, don't worry about Ryan. He doesn't matter. <laughs> we got some stuff from Gorgalore right along over here. Some really, really cool stuff. They had that one to go creature out uh, on the floor yesterday. All right. Let's go check out the second half of the floor. And then we'll head into the dark zone. Because, I mean, like, I know, obviously, a lot of you guys want to see the Dark Zone. So, let's see here. Come along here. Oh, we got some air blasters right there. Got this house, because, you know, why not have a house here? It's Transworld, you never know. We got some of these uh, shoulder buddies. That's right, that's what they're called. Everyone walks around with these guys at Transworld. They have so many different types. They're so cool. They're such a cute little just, I don't know, addition to your outfit. All right, we've got different drink stands. We've got different, you know, like little merch right here. So more collectible stuff. If you're not looking for the animatronics or anything like that, we've got some collectible pieces like Funko Pops, uh, Monster High, you know, different horror icons and stuff like that. Some really, really cool stuff. Look at all that. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's come through here. We got the infamous Gilbert right down here. Look at this little guy. Everybody loves Gilbert. You can't, how do you not love that? He is adorable. All right, we got RCFX so right along over there. And right behind them, we've got Rib FX right along here. Some super cool realistic props right here. Like, look at this guy. Look at this right up here. Look at this fisherman type of thing. Yeah, pretty much. He's got a harpoon. 
That is awesome. Got a squid guy. Look at the squid octopus monster creature. They've got some really, really cool stuff. Look at all that. All right. We got, of course, can't skip on the donuts. Gotta have the donuts. You know, they've got free samples over here. We're gonna take a little donut break, why don't we? Hi, how are you? Thank you so much. Oh, look at that. They've got some amazing donuts. Mmm. Little Orbits. They're delicious. They're amazing. All right, let's see what else we got going on over here. More just props over here. Okay, we already saw all of this stuff. Let's walk down this way. Now, I probably am not showing too much of the Christmas area, nor the, like, escape room area. But we got some more collectible stuff along over there. All right. Let's see. We got Dapper Cadaver right here. Some pretty cool props. Look at all those. Look at that awesome giant clown back there. Look at that. That is so cool. All right. We got October Studios. Bunch of masks, costumes. We got, of course, can't, once again, can't forget the Dippin' Dots. Delicious. You, you, you can never miss on Dippin' Dots. But we'll have to come back for that later. After this video, I'll go and grab some Dippin' Dots. We got a ton of silicone body parts and pieces right here. Awesome from... What's their name? Uh, Strega Moon. S-T-R-E-G-A Moon. Look at that. Got just dead bodies laying on the table. I mean, look how real that looks. Look at that facial hair. That is insane. Look at those teeth. That is so cool. Hello, and welcome to Trans World 2024. All right, let's come along over here. We got Dusk Productions over there. Got some kettle corn right here. Look at all these amazing, amazing statics right here. We got a witch stirring up a cauldron over there. Some sort of concoction. Look at that witch. It's more like a goblin witch. That is super unique. I love that. We got morbid monstrosities along over here. Look at this massive thing. That is super cool. We've got a praying mantis with a guy looking like he's praying for help. We got... I didn't even see this yesterday. We got a guy peeing in a urinal over there. Was that you, Ted? Yeah, that's me, exactly. That's me. That is awesome. Hold on, I gotta check that. That is an awesome prop. That is such a cool idea. That is so... Oh, and he, he turns around at you. That is so funny. That is amazing. Alright, now I do have this from them. The voodoo hex plaque up on the wall over there. Awesome, awesome prop. Alright, let's see. Let's walk along over here. We've got some, oh my gosh. We got this awesome, you know, laid back guy pouring some booze into a head. <laughs> that is so funny. That is awesome. I love their fountain props. And then right here, we've got an alligator that they were saying was casted by a real life alligator, which is insane. Another tall character up there. Look at that. All right. Let's keep on moving, keep on tracking down. Okay, we already saw distortions over there. So we'll come over and look at Inferno Effects. Once again, a bunch of masks. Obviously, there's a ton of mask companies here. Lots of them. We got Mini Spotlight right over there. Let's check out some of their lights. Those look pretty cool. All right. Ton of spotlights going along over here. Look at these. That is so cool. I would love to get that for the lab. That is amazing. Definitely got to come back and check out this booth later. All right. Let's come along over here. Tyler G Show. Hello. Yes, it's a Tyler G Show. Exactly, exactly. Oh, God, I love this. Oh, that's cool. I love 
free shipping? Just weird, unique, yeah. I love that. Just peeking out of a curtain. That is not bad at all. Look at this up here. We got a gingerbread man and a little candy corn guy. That is so cool. All right. Come on over here. Walkie talkies. We got. What are you doing to my gimbal? Let me see this. All right, give me one second, guys. Hi, what's going on? There we go. Awesome. So we got Michael Myers right over here. Yes, exactly, Miguel Myers. What's up? What's good, man? What's going on? We got Gino Hunter right here. What's good, Hello. everyone? Hello, everyone. We're doing a video right now, so pretty, pretty exciting. Not live yet. Not live no, yet. No, Later. No, yeah. yeah. Um, got some awesome contacts right here. Look at these little dragon guys. What's the deal? Thirty at pair, fifty for two pairs. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. We'll definitely be around. Smile Thank you. We have to down for a Look at that. Look at these lines. awesome tiles. Yeah. They're called lava All right. tiles. Look at that. Look at those awesome tiles. Now he got me intrigued. He said a slide. Let's go check out that slide. All right. All right Let's see ready? this. Oh, I'm ready. Hop right up there. We're doing this. All right. There we go. Feet out Feet front. Up. Feet front. All right. Oh. Here we go. Let's do this. <laughs> that was amazing. That is awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Make up. Make sure to check out Super Mega Ride and Slide. That is so cool. All right. Let's continue along over here. Is this a costume or is that a prop? I think that might be a costume. That's awesome. That is awesome. And while they do have something similar down the road here, he's selling one that does not light up for around uh, 1300 We're only asking a grant for this bad boy. There's never going to be one with lights in it again. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Everything from the pants, the top, both gloves, the scarf underneath, the mask, all for that price. And the best part about this mask is it's a uh, skin foam here. So if you have like a Bella combo or like a stocking cap on your knees, you can actually move the jaw with your own mouth. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. We'll be around. Definitely, I'll definitely stop by back after this video. Thank you. All right. Look at that. We've got some flame lights. We got the jumping spiders right down there. We got paranormal scrub, which I actually purchased from them last year. It makes a nice, smooth, smooth hands from them. We got some. Halloween style Christmas lights going on over here. Look at that. I got a ton of signs along the way, right along there. Look at that. Look all up there. This is an awesome sign. Check out here. That's really cool. I like that. All right. And then right behind them, we got Creepy Creator right back there. You know, want a nice creepy pizza? There we go. Look at that. All right. Let's keep on moving this way. And then we've got Savage at Silicone right now. You may have heard of them before. They, are, they have blown up on TikTok. They've got some pretty, pretty cool things. And it doesn't seem like they're actually here right now. But they've got some awesome awesome masks. Look at all of those. All right. Let's go back along this way. Let's see what have we got over here. We got some foliage. Are you looking some uh, for some artificial corn stalks, trees, anything like that? Look at all these. We got a crow up here. Super awesome. 
They got some really, really cool stuff. We got some fog going along there from Atari. All right, tracking down here. Let's see, I see some more lighting. I see some more laboratory lighting. Let's check this out over here. Look at all these lights. We got chainsaws over here. They are super loud. Pretty busy area over here. Let's check this out. It's like a spooky Zoltar type of character right there. Alright. Got some pumpkins over there. Coming along here. Look at this awesome gargoyle up there. Look at that guy. That is so cool. We got right over here. Come on, look at this. Are these masks? I can't even tell. It looks like a mask. Like just a massive mask. That is awesome. How would you wear it though? Or is it like a puppet? Yeah, because like here's the arms. Look at these. These are gloves. You could stick your hands into there. Oh, it's all fuzzy and soft in there, you know? Nice comfort. Tons and tons of masks. They always do awesome masks here at Ghoulish Productions. Look at all that. Look at the two-headed cat. All right, what's this right here? That is awesome. All right, let's check out over here. Got some awesome smaller versions of the gargoyles right down there. All right, let's come along over here. What have we got going on over here? Ton, a ton of statics. Look at all of these. These are so cool. From Midnight Studios FX. Look at this thing right down there. That is so cool. That is so freaky. Got this guy right up here. That is amazing. All right. So we're starting to get into the escape room area. In this area, we've got some escape room props right along there. Look at this. All right, you know what? I think it's time we take a look into the haunted house. Let's go take a look over to there. Actually, you know what? First, why don't we check out uh, Night Scream Studios? Let's check out their vacuum form walls because they always do a huge walkthrough inside of it. So let's see. Let's go into here. Come on in. Look at these. So we got some creepy moss walls. Oh, we got some pumpkins. Super cool in here. I do. They've got some amazing vacuum form walls, and I'm so upset because one year I was planning on purchasing a ton, um, a ton, like a bunch of these, but they ran out of stock. I waited till the last day to go and place the order, but they were like, they're already booked up. But they've got some amazing, amazing, even though, I mean, like, they're kind of pricey, vacuum form walls are definitely expensive, but they are so, so cool. Yeah, there's some awesome ghillie suits. All right, now, let's go over to that haunted house. Right along here. Let's just follow this spooky path along here. Actually, you know what? We might stop one more time. We might stop at this taxidermy booth. I wanna check this stuff out over here at WOTFX. They've got a bunch of animals and stuff like that up on their walls. Look at all these. All bones. We got a hippo right here. And of course, the most taxidermied creature of all, 
THD from Home Depot, all reskinned up. Look at that. They did a complete haul over him. We got a killer, like, antelope? Is that what this guy is? Or a deer? No, that's not a deer. It's like a antelope type of guy. We got a giraffe, though. Look at that. Got a duck. Want a woodchuck? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck a wood? That is awesome. I know, the giraffe is so cool. All right, but well, let's check out the haunted house. All right. Take a walk down, right down this way. Got some Stranger Things stuff along the way as we walk over to there. But now watch out. This haunted house is pretty spooky. It's pretty scary. I mean, it's got some pretty good jump scares in there. But let's walk through. Now you could get a glimpse of the Christmas area off in the distance. You can see all the Christmas stuff right along down there. So we're just going to wait until they finish up. And first we've got a bunch of pumpkins over here. Look at all those. Look at all that. Let's, let's take a little peek at the Christmas stuff while we wait. Alright, actually, you know what? First, I want to go to Chamber of Souls. They were from Fright Fight. They've got some amazing, amazing servo animatronics. They also have a whole dark ride system. Look at all that. Look at that guy right there. So they basically make custom bones for uh, a prop. You could customize it. And they're insane. Super fluent, realistic movement. They did a great job with their stuff. All right, let's see if the haunted house is ready. Let's see here. Oh no, I think we got some more people waiting online. All right. Let's just wait here a second. Let's go through with them. All right, so you ring the doorbell and the door opens up. Here we go. Look at all this detail in here. It's amazing. All the audio going on. Look at the guy in the clock. Now along they've got different effects. They've got buttons that you can press. And the mirrors move, or the window frames move along with it. So right here, let's see, what have we got here? This one not going? This one had a really cool gunshot one yesterday. All right, let's see, wait one more time. Okay, that one's just shaking around. We got this one shaking around over here. Right here, we've got this awesome window effect. Is it not working? No! Why aren't any of them working today? Okay, take a look at that. There we go, you can see it moving a little bit. All right, now look at this freaky room. We got a pentagram on the ceiling. Look at that. That is crazy got the attack table right here, which I don't know if it's going right now. All right, we got some creepy characters. Did you look up the staircase to show the nun? Look at that. Now in here, we got some more taxidermied anim animals. We got a zebra, all that stuff. We got a shotgun right here. Oh no, the button's gone. Well, that's not going anymore, I guess. But there was a button here and uh, basically like an air cannon shot out of this shotgun. It was pretty cool.
Now this is one of my favorite rooms in here. I love this whole design with the projectors going on. Look at this. There's a bunch of projectors on the wall. You are confronted with the consequences of your choices. The key to your freedom lies in the We got hair coming out of these people's mouths. It's so freaky. I love this room. Just the audio and everything. It works so well. I hope you guys can hear me in here. I hope you can hear the audio too. But they've got some amazing, amazing stuff in here. And then we made it. We made it out. All right. Now let's walk along around over here. Alright, we're gonna go check out Morris costumes because I know a lot of you as well have wanted to see them. So let's go and check them out. And then after that, we'll do one more little walkthrough and then we're going to the dark zone. Mwahaha! <laughs> Alright, right up here we've got Mortal Remains. Now, if you guys don't follow the Trick or Trio podcast, what are you doing? They were a guest on our podcast. They've got some amazing products. Look at this. Look at this costume. That is awesome. But we are super huge supporter of them. We love what they do and all of their products. They have the fog cannon right there. It's so cool what they do. All right. As you can see right along here, we've got... Uh, what's it called? Morris Costumes. Right down over here. Got a bunch of jack-o'-lanterns and pumpkins over there. But let's see, what have we got going on over here? Got him up there. We got... Let's see, where is he? Is he going today? I don't think he was going yesterday. But the... Grave Robber. We got the Shaking Scarecrow. Alright, let's keep walking. Let's go check out the gargoyle. We got this awesome gargoyle pillar right up here. Look at him! This is awesome. I love this guy. He is super cool. We got the infamous sword swallower. Now, I do believe his arm is kind of broken right now. I, it is supposed to go down or go up farther. Actually, it might not even be going down right now. Oh, okay, there we go. Now it's going down. Look at that. But it's supposed to pop out further. He's super cool. And then we got the Balancing Clown right up there. Now, let's go in through here. We'll check out this awesome, awesome blacklight haunted house. Hey, how's it going? Alright, let's see here. We're going to throw on our glasses. Awesome, thank you. Now, I know it's not gonna come up on the camera as good as it is in person. Here, you go in front of me, and I'm gonna try to hold it up to the camera. Let's see here. I don't know how this is gonna lurk. Yeah, it doesn't really give it that 3D effect. Um, yeah, you really can't tell on camera, but there are some awesome effects. And just like he was saying, look down on the floor. The floor looks like it's coming out up at you. It's crazy with the glasses on. Now, my personal favorite room is right around this corner. We got a couple more to go. But right here, we've got this awesome, just trippy polka dot room. Right in here. Look at these. It just looks so weird. With all these dots coming out of the wall, with the spinning wheel... It is just so, so weird. I got this cool demon hell room right all, right along here. We got some skulls going on. Black light. Super cool. I love this booth. They come every year. They always have this walkthrough. They are just so, it's always so cool to see. Another one of my favorite areas is right over here. Once again, it's just so weird and so trippy. Like, I can't even imagine a whole room like this. It just looks... It's so disorienting. That's the word I'm looking for. All right, watch out for the pole. Don't want to walk into that pole. Caution, okay? Look at all that. 
It truly is amazing. I always love seeing their booth every year. Thank you so much. In here, they go in here, right? All right. Oh, keep them? Awesome. Thank you so much. What's up? Not right now, I'll be back after this video. All right. Now let's come along here. We're gonna do a couple more booths and then you know, on our way to the dark zone, and then I think it's time to get spooky. We'll check out Poison Props, Scare Factory, and all of the other new booths inside of the dark zone. So let's come along this way. We got lots to see. We got tons of makeup stuff going on over here. Look at that. Paint like a pro. This is one of the leaders at Trans World, I feel, of when it comes to makeup. They've got some amazing, amazing products. And they always do like full body makeup dis uh, demonstrations and stuff like that. We haven't checked out Little Spider Creations. We also need to check these guys out. Look at that. We got a little Oompa Loompa over here. Oh, Oompa Loompa Doopa Dee Doo. He's awesome. Look at that. All right, let's check out Little, little Spider Creations. And we got this awesome pumpkin, winged pumpkin creature in here. It's kind of like a gift shop vibe that it's given off in here. It is awesome though. Super cool. I love how they disguise the beams up there as like branches and stuff like that. Just the detail that goes into all their stuff is so cool. Look at this. Oh, I love this. It's like a skull pouring out blood. That is so cool. That is such a cool idea. If they weren't sold, I probably would have gotten that. I really like that. All right. Now let's come outside of here and start walking even closer to the dark zone. See where we could get. Now we've seen most of the stuff uh, that we'll be walking through. Um, we're just re-walking through this part. We've got Wen Hinges Creek right along over there. We got Creature Corpse right over here. We got Toxic FX. They've got some amazing pumpkins right here. They've got some really, really, truly amazing stuff. See, I know I'm saying amazing to so much stuff, but every company just specializes in like something different. Like them, they're pumpkins. This is their thing. This is what they're here for. They've got some really, really cool stuff, and I love, absolutely love what they do. Look at all those. That's awesome. Look up there, look at these awesome staffs. Look at this one right here. That is so, so cool. All right, let's keep tracking down to the dark zone. Here we go. God bless you. <laughs> all right, we got Beastcraft right there once again. Let's check out these costumes right here real quick. An amazing, amazing selection right here. We got this awesome Mickey Mouse one. What? We got Murder Mouse. You know, imagine wearing that, walking around, going, ah, hi, pal. Be awesome, I love that. I would love to get that costume. Yeah, ton of costumes. We got this really cool Nutcracker. Look at that guy right there. From Studio 31 Concepts. Bless you. All right, once again, we got Immortal Masks right there. All right. Let's keep going, keep going. Let's see, it's Jordu over here right now. I don't believe so. No, he is not. But Jordu has been over here sculpting this mask. Bless you. Look at that. Um, but he'll hang out over here. He's sculpting a mask. Super, super cool. We got Scary Gary right over there. All right. Here we go. Off to the dark zone. But before we go into the dark zone, I think we need to walk through the vortex tunnel. Let's check this out. Have you been through the Vortex Tunnel yet? No? 
Oh, well, you're in for a treat. No videos, okay, never mind. No treats given right now, we'll come back to that. We got sewer varmint up over here. Look at that guy. We got some awesome stuff right over here. We got Willy Wonka. Super realistic looking Willy Wonka. That is weird how real he looks. Before we get into the fright or dark zone, I want to check out Frank and Fab over here. Let's come along right along this way. So we got a ton of bodies right here from Haunted Enterprises. And then right here we got Frank and Fab. They've got a ton of animatronics. Look at all these. Look at that. I always know it's coming, but it's still, because I don't know when it's going to happen. But look at all this stuff. Bunch of different bodies and stuff, and crates and boxes, chambers. But I think it is now time to finally tread into the dark zone. Let's do this. Here we go. Brace yourself. Brace yourself. It's pretty scary in there. Let's see. Let's go. We got the dark zone. Here we go. We've got boys and props right along there. Look at that. They've brought some amazing, amazing animatronics, as always. I mean, Poison Props is one of my favorites. I bought Body Lifted and Contorted last year from them, and I love that animatronic. All right. Right over here, we got some Scare Factory stuff going on. Let's see, what have we got going on over here? We've got these awesome, awesome witches right up here. Now, I will be doing a full Scare fa or uh, what's it called? Dark Zone video, so make sure to stay uh, look out on that, where you'll be able to see most of this stuff in action. We've got these awesome new pumpkin hands right here. I love these things. They're so cool. They move their mouths up and down. Got this awesome mutant pumpkin creature right here. Scare Factory does amazing pumpkins. Now look at this. This is one of my all-time favorite things at the show this year. They've got this awesome zombie archway right there. Look at that. Imagine having to walk under that. I'd be freaked out. Well, I mean, I wouldn't be. I'm a haunter. I mean, I don't get freaked out at this stuff, right? <laughs> but look at this. Look, we got that guy right there. Um, all this stuff's on a timer, so it's not going, you know, of course not going right as I'm walking by. We got the Jack Skeleton Pumpkin. We got this awesome reskin of Ghostwire up there. Um, but it's a witch. Super, super amazing I, you know, concept and idea for it. Um, let's see, what's next on the chain? Who's going to be moving next? I don't know. All right, nothing. Nothing's going right now. Let's see. Let's keep walking along over here. Oh, that guy's rising up. Is he doing anything, or is he just going up and down? Something's screaming. Oh, there we go. She's going. All right. I want to check out this right here. This is one of my favorite things. Oh, we got that pumpkin guy going. Right here. We've got this awesome zombie. They didn't have this fence here yesterday. Um, but so a zombie head basically pops out of there. Super cool, super creative, and it looks amazing. Um, just have to give it a minute on the timer, but I want to get this. This is one, another one of my favorites that I just love. As we wait, there's the Wicked Witch going right now. Oh, and there's the zombie pop out. Look at that. I love this thing. Honestly, that's one of the creepiest things I've seen. Like, if walking through a haunt, not expecting that, this thing is awesome. I want this. 
If I had the budget for that, he would be mine. Super small, super simple, but just done super, super well. Sorry. All right. We got all this stuff going along right up over there. Watch out behind you. You got a zombie head about to eat your head off. Look at that. Nom, 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 nom. Now the... I forget his name, the pumpkin creature guy up over here. He was going yesterday. Unfortunately, he's not going right now, which kind of stinks. Um, but now let's check out some poison prop stuff right along here. Check out some more of them. Let's see, what have we got going on? And once again, now I do have up right now a full poison props. Uh, of, like a full video of all the poison props and animatronics. So if you want to see that, make sure to check out that video. I just want to give you guys a quick glance at some of the stuff that they've got going on here. Look at this. They've got some amazing stuff. Like that is freaky. Alright. She's super cool. I love this thing. Just switching her body all around. It's just so unsettling. It's so weird. Now, if you turn behind you, got a bunch of fog right there. Got like a fog floor. That is pretty cool. Now, let's come along this way. Now, they've got the fog that looks like fire. Once again, it's on a timer, so it's not going right now. We've got these amazing uh, animatronics over here from Nevermore Animatronics. I really hope you guys can hear me because it is super loud in here. But Nevermore has some amazing stuff. Um, they've got all these weird, creepy bug creatures. Like, look at that thing. That is so cool. I really love this stuff. And it's so cool seeing more companies in the Dark Zone this year. We've got this right here. Look at this ice cream. Super cool. I love that thing. He hit Kelsey yesterday. He moved his arm up and down and hit her with the wrench. Alright, let's see. Let's come along over here. We got her right up there. Or him, I mean. We got the, I forget his name offhand, but it's basically one from last year. They had a white version, uh, and this year they brought a dark angel. Super, super cool. Got him right here. We got killer props. I really hope you guys can hear me, but this is killer props right here. Oh. All right. Once again, super loud in here. Let's see, what have we got going on over here from Dead Farm Productions? Of course, we got Cyclone signs right up over there. We got all their amazing, amazing signs. Oh, look at this. Whoa! Her head! What happened? No! 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 <laughs> That's awesome. I hope I'm not next. That would not be cool. That would not be good. But that is super, super creepy. All right. Let's come back over to Poison Props because I want to show off one of my favorites from them, which is, um, oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank on the name. Iron Maiden. That's what it's called. We got Ned's LEDs right here, Ned's LEDs. They got some awesome lights and just different cool block light effects and stuff like that. All right, we're gonna have to give it a minute. Here's Bushman. Look at that. Bushman, another fan favorite of the year that so many people like. And once again, if you guys wanna see full demos of these guys, make sure to check out the full Poison Props walkthrough video. So he locks up in there. And then, 
Wait, he's locked up, and then now he's all impaled. That is awesome. Such a cool animatronic. All right, let's see, what have we got going on here? Before I end this video, because we are wrapping up, I just want to show this guy right down up here, because I think overall, he may be my all-time favorite Poison Props animatronic after seeing him now. Look at that up there. And then he drops down right on top of you. He's terrifying. That is such an amazing jump scare. I want it. But yes, yeah, so let's walk out of the dark zone real quick. So just to make sure you guys can hear me, we're gonna walk out over here. But this is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Amazing, amazing year at Transworld. And I'm hoping to get a ton more videos out to show you guys more of like the Christmas, escape room, all of that stuff. Scare Factory, um, everything. You know, I want you guys to see everything. But I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you're still here at the end, thank you so much for watching in entirety. This is like an over hour long video probably. Um, but yeah, I hope to see you guys all in the next video. Peace, peace out.